Well, Missy, your mommy wants to know how you're doing. Your mommy's out of town. Yeah. You miss your mom, don't you? I know you do. Hmm? I can give you some loving. It's not as good as your mom's, but... to this morning. It is 6.30 in the morning. I wonder what you want. Hmm. I can't quite figure out what you're saying. Duh, stupid human. What do you think I'm saying? <laughs> I don't think so, Asia. No. It doesn't work that way. Nope. Why don't we do something else? Why don't we go and have some catnip for breakfast? That would be nice. Mm -hmm. Or how about some food? Your friend Mogi is outside. He spent the night outside, and now he's back outside again. Come on, Asia. Come on. Let's go. That's a good girl. Come on. No, that door doesn't open anymore. It's stuck. Asia. That's a girl. Let's go get some food. Come on. Come on. Come on, honey. Let's go get some food. There we go. You like this stuff, don't you? Okay, let me pour it. No, you guys don't get anything. No, you don't deserve to eat. What? Didn't I just give you some beans? Is that good, honey bunny? Yeah, like you said, Heather, she's she's just she's always tense. Always thinking that, that something might be around after her or whatever. Just makes you wonder what her life was like. So many animals out there like that. Okay, Miss Pris. There you go. Just wait for mom to come home. Hey, that's your friend. Who is that at the door? Do you know that guy? That handsome black and white guy? Hello, Mr. Moog. Goodness, Mogi is just so mellowed out. <laughs> yeah. 
Asia, you make life interesting for us. Yes, you do.